The holiday season is behind us, and you probably already sent out your Christmas cards, but you probably also battled with trying to figure out how to create mailing labels for your Christmas cards. It's an annual problem with the casual computer user on how to create labels. Here are some labels I created in Microsoft Access. I did a horrible font here so you can't read the real addresses that are in there. But this is what everyone's goal is, is to create a nice sheet of labels that they can quickly print out and send their cards. However, people usually end up spending hours upon hours trying to get this task completed. And if you don't understand databases and you don't understand what mail merge is, this video is for you because I'm going to teach you how to do it simply and easily. One quick suggestion I have for you is to buy a software package that's specifically for printing labels. This is one of my favorite easy to use label products called My Labels and it comes from a company called My Software Company. They also make a companion My Address book. They're very simple. They usually work very well for almost any computer user. But I have seen computer users who didn't understand this either and that's okay. We're going to teach you how to do it today using your word processor. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Word 2007. This is the newest version of Word and OpenOffice 3.0 which is the free word processor from OpenOffice.org that works equally as well. And by showing you in both of these products you should be able to get it done in whatever word processor you are using. Let's start with Microsoft Word. In Microsoft Word we're going to head over here to Mailings. We're going to avoid Mail Merge. You don't know what that is. Don't even try to use it. Go here to Labels. And under Labels you're going to pick out which label you want. The number 8160 is the most common mailing label and that's the one I would suggest that you use. But if you have a different label you click here where it says Options. Make sure it says Avery Letter Labels here and then just scroll through the list and find the number that's on the box of your labels. Click it. Click OK. Once it's here, you're simply going to click the button New Document right here. And voila, you have a new document with the template for your labels. And we're going to type the address of our first recipient. And then I'm going to push Tab two times. My cursor comes up into this cell. I'm going to type in my second recipient. We're going to push tab again two times and we're going to type in our third recipient. And you can do that all the way down the line. The 8160 that we chose has 30 labels. Now if I get to the bottom down here and I type in my address and I don't have any more room but I have more than 30 people, all you do is push tab one time on your keyboard and a new set of labels starts to occur. And again, as I just push tab, the labels continue to build, and you'll get as many labels as you need. Now, once you've created your list, this will be your labels. You're just going to hit save. Make sure you name it Christmas labels or holiday labels or whatever you need, and then save it in more than one place. You have a backup. And then the next year, if someone moves, all you have to do is just change their address here. You just type in their new address, and then they're ready to go. No fuss, no must, no worrying about the mail merge, nothing like that. You just type them in. If, if you're not going to send them a card next year, all you have to do is highlight them and push delete on your keyboard and they're no longer on your label and you have a spot for somebody else. So it's very simple to maintain, very simple to print. It'll always print exactly the way you want it. No problem whatsoever. So that's Microsoft Word. So now let's learn how to do exactly the same thing, but this time using the OpenOffice.org writer program, which is the word processor from OpenOffice.org, free by the way. We're going to click File in OpenOffice.org, New, Labels. Once the labels comes up, you're going to come into the Labels tab. Down here under Format, make sure you're using Sheet. That means they're individual sheets. Brand is Avery, of course, and then under Type, you scroll through and choose whatever label you're using. Again, 8160 is the most common. And before you leave this, before you click OK or New Document here, we're going to go over to Options. Make sure that Synchronize Contents is not checked. Otherwise, you won't be able to type new addresses into each label. It'll do a full page of the same label. So we're going to uncheck that and then click New Documents. And now we have, similar like we did in Word, our template for the particular label we chose, and we can start typing away. So I'm going to type in my first label, hit Tab, 
or click into the second label I want to here. Once I'm in that particular box where I want to type, I'll type in the next address. And you can go in any one of the boxes you want to. If I want to come down to the third row, I can click there and type in my next address there and so forth. So again, fill out all of the addresses that you're going to use and once you're through, make sure you save the document, save it in multiple places so you can access it again at any point and then you can print these labels anytime you want. So that's all you do to create labels in a word processor. Start with your label format and then use it, use the actual labels as your address book and your label format and you'll never have to fret again when it comes around to Christmas next year or anytime you're sending out mailings because you're not going to have to worry about mail merge, not have to worry about databases. It's all there, easy for you to edit. Good luck.